Homeless people in tents have made a lifestyle choice, says, uh, says Suella Braverman. 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 As she claimed, sleep, sleeping rough was, quote, a lifestyle choice for many. Suella Braverman takes the baton of Bellandry from Leanderthal once again. Like, honestly, the to and fro between these two is really something to behold. The answer to the question, who will say the thing designed to placate express readers and infuriate Guardian subscribers today? The answer to that question, we we just don't know. Will the deputy chair suggest he supports the return of national service in the death penalty? Or will the home secretary attempt to galvanize white supremacists? Who's gonna take the mic? Who's gonna win the clap off? Like honestly, I haven't seen a man and a woman vying so vociferously for the same market of morons since Katie and Peter signed competing trash magazine deals. I mean, it really shows incredible commitment to the cause and presumably their contracts that roughly every 10 days, one of them will say something completely ill-founded or ignorant, will blow up all over Twitter and it will do exactly what it's supposed to do, which is to drag the political discourse away from the stuff that they're actually doing, like condemning net zero targets to the dustbin by signing off hundreds of oil drilling licenses in the North Sea, or amending the definition of extremism so it becomes this sort of ambiguous, vague catch-all. So if you undermine the UK or don't sufficiently exhibit its values, you could presumably be labelled an extremist and jailed accordingly. This is the strategy and we need to stop falling for it. Like one minute, we are actually engaged. We're focused on the malevolent policies that they're rolling out. And the next minute, in the blink of an eye, we're distracted like ADHD kids in a, in a, um, what's, what's... This is all loosely referring, of course, to Suella Braverman's statement this weekend that homelessness is a lifestyle choice. And I can't say I'm massively surprised that the party of self-responsibility is seeking once again to shirk it. Because thanks to the lack of an energy price cap, which sparked inflation, which caused the Bank of England to hike interest rates, which sent private rents, mortgages, and thus homelessness soaring, it's as depressing as it is predictable that this lot are seeking to package all of this up as though it's everyone else's lifestyle choices rather than their political ones. For many of those sleeping rough, it is a lifestyle choice. In some senses, of course, she's bang on, you know? It is a lifestyle choice, just not anybody else's. They choose it and everyone else has to deal with it. Interestingly, on the morning news rounds, Claire Coutinho becomes the latest Sunakite to publicly distance herself from Suella. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't necessarily use that language. I and we're seeing this more and more. I mean, the last time Braverman said something crazy about how she didn't think the ECHR was compatible with blah, 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 Sunak himself went on record saying, well, you know, I'm not I, I, I'm not fully supportive of that. Similarly, he distanced himself from Lee Anderson's France comments. But don't get it twisted. That distance doesn't mean disapproval. The distance, the space between them, allows that distraction to take place. 